Right, hello, welcome back for episode two uh, of Pathfinder. Uh, we're going to be diving further into the cave after we were left here after the city square got attacked. And immediately we found something interesting. It's a dragon scale from Trendelev. Yeah, she might be a bit dead, but uh, we won't be if we use this. It actually resurrects our character if we use it. Uh, and I believe there's another one somewhere around here. Ah! Oh no. This is bug. <laughs> yeah, some of the demons are a little unusual. Uh, big flies are apparently quite standard for the little ones. Uh, let's have you charge. That's the wrong button. Nope, can't charge. Okay. Too far away. Uh, if you notice up here, it's the turn order. We surprised him. Uh, he, he doesn't get a turn on the first round. We could throw a snowball at him. Uh... Yeah, why not? Let's cast our first bit of magic for our main character. Oh, no. Uh, the only thing is, on a surprise round, you only get to do either a move or a regular action. You don't get to do the full action. Which is sometimes all you need, because we got to him before he could hit us. We even really locked an attack on us. Oh. My enemies already. Yeah, sometimes enemies will join the fight, even if they're not technically visible to you right away. Uh, let's throw a spell. Yeah, I think we got him. What are you... She's firing at something else there, and I'm not sure what. Hmm. This guy looks a bit dead, but he's dropped some nice stuff. Brace of armor. Mace. Keep it in pieces. Uh, I think we could use that. Oh, it's slightly worse than what we've got, but they could use it. Yep, but they get no bonus for it. What about you? Wow, really? Oh, I guess the idea is that it's for characters who aren't already wearing armor. Alright, that's fine. We'll go back out the other way. Up here, here's more flies. Although the ceiling's not looking so good. What are they doing up there? Is that demon still smashing stuff? You are today's sacrifice. <laughs> yep, thank you for completely deleting that problem. Uh, I guess we'll put a crossbow bolt on it. Yeah, low level, bigger wizard at low level is um, painful. Uh, you get a very limited amount of spells. And if you screw them up, uh, too bad. I thought a friend was going to attack there, but she didn't. <laughs> Got him. Oh, and I assume that's not his skeleton, but I could be wrong. Oh no, it's a... It's a lizard. It's a regular cave lizard. Why are you bothering him? Oh, too late. He was going to attack us, so... Oh, and immediately crits and kills it. And fails to skin it. Ha, we found someone. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. When do I... Yeah, it's got a slightly unusual looking fella here. here to save our mongrel souls no doubt wait they might know what's going on up there uh demons are happening if things are as bad as you say then we all have to hurry you didn't come from the direction of the shield mace damn it i couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface but the mace i realize that you guys have your own troubles but we need to be in canabras people are dying up there Please, show us the way out. Uh, what is this place? This is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this. Trust <laughs> me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. This is where the relics of the first crusaders are displayed. 
Our lives are short. Our glories are quickly forgotten. But this place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. And that our lives are not lived in vain. Huh, the first crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. Uh, why are you? That's what are you doing down here? We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. You think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Right. Um, now, the sword is pretty cool. Uh, but that's the route I've gone down with my other character, because that's the first mythic path uh, sort of thing that you can do. Uh, and we're not going to go with that one. I know which one we're going to go with, because it's another one I found, but didn't go down on my own playthrough. So we're not going to worry too much about the sword. We're going to say, uh, does the maze leave to the surface? Yes. There are other ways up, but they are far from here. And after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. The maze. There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders, that the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. <laughs> Until then, the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must leave to the surface. When the ceiling and walls started shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. Ooh, but we'll say we're going to look for the sword. I don't know if we can... Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can... If we can ignore it anyway, but... The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks... Uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? What? You want to find the sword quickly, so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Yep, we've got here. Legend? Do we know that? This one was beyond me. No. If you fail a, a check, you with like the, the sort of descriptive ones, you'll still get a bit of information on it, but not the main bit. Touch through the rubble. I'm gone. That one we also failed. Oh, okay. What? Yeah, the, the purple highlighted items are, are hidden things that you found. 
Now, if I remember correctly, the sword's in there. If we ignore it, can we just press the rubble? I, found, uh, I didn't. I don't remember ever trying this. I haven't found the relic yet. Can we just ignore it? No, okay. We do have to find the sword. Okay. Uh, so it looks like ah, the wounds reopen, but we're not dying. All good. Uh, and it seems and a very strange figure. Uh. I'll let you guys read that one. Uh, but we are going to... Uh, see if we can heal this, this lady. And the warriors of heaven will be leaving on a mission to stop demons forever. Well, that sounds about right for angels. Uh... Oh, but there's some kind of monster adding here. Uh, we're going to resist this. This is probably not a good... Hey. Ah, okay. So this guy, this angel whose memories we're seeing, met the, the giant locust fellow that we, we saw in the square. Although I guess he was a lot smaller at this point. Or he's huge and so is everyone else here because wasn't this guy enormous? Hmm, it's a little weird. Uh, and he gets a bit of that uh, good old anime power boost. So he's clearly injured the uh, Discari at some point. Ah, I guess he's really dying. Uh, so I'll we'll come back and raise up my sword. They will... Can I ignore the sword? Uh, we'll do... Punish evil doers and traders. Why don't we'll, we'll go beat them up? I have the final words, final thought. Well, I suppose I get the sword anyway. <laughs> there we go. Well, we're off to a good start here. Hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. Oh. Is it the light of heaven? But how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? It's only us here, your group, you, me, Wendu, and the light of heaven that sort of got uh, sucked into you. Any chance you can whip it out again? We Land, do come on. You don't ask a lady that on the first date. Sorry, I crack jokes when I get nervous. <laughs> he knows. Said it came out wrong. He does though. <laughs> uh, nice. So you can show everyone the light of heaven. We'll rally the tribe and go into the maze, and we'll get back our kin. That does sound like a plan. What if she can't make it happen a second time? What then? The tribe will just say we're crazy and turn its back on us. Could we do two? Can we move on without using that? That really was Lariel. The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be thrilled. You. Thousands of gongs and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Yes. Now, Maybe? Now, Wendelog, don't be a sore loser. She is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before her, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff. Because she doesn't carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. Oof. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but... You insult. You just refuse to face the truth. 
We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. Uh, well, I guess we'll show we can control the sword. Oh. That's just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing. Heaven has truly blessed you. This power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Uh, like, less bright, but... Yes, it's similar. But this light is more... golden? Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then... The perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. I guess we'll go with that. Let's go. Lead the way. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. Okay, now we can cross over. Now, what is that? Oh, there's more. Done. Yeah, basically saying, hey, you're doing dice checks. Follow my oh. Uh, I hope nobody here is arachnophobic. Uh, I personally or not. Look at the little guy jump. Uh, yeah, so we've got a new ability. We can use the sword. Uh, and if you think it's enough, this is a ability with no, no like, max uses or anything. We can just keep on, keep on using it. It gives everyone an extra hit point. And it can dazzle some enemies. Oh. Uh, literally one extra hit point, by the way. Uh, <laughs> which is better than nothing, but... Yeah, at later levels, that aspect of it's going to be useless. But at this point, the, the Dazzle's actually quite good. Wait, she got a... What happened with the initiative there? She got like two turns really quickly. That doesn't seem quite right. Uh, Lan, by the way, <laughs> uh, who I've been using on my other save, really strong if we're leveling up. He's a He is a monk. So at the moment we've got a wizard, a where's Camilla? I can never remember what she is. I think she's a magus character class shaman. So we've got a, a witch, witch sorry not a wizard, a witch a paladin, a shaman spirit hunter which is like a ghost hunter specifically, a archer monk uh, which basically is like the normal monk but they use the longbow, and an actual oh she's a, she's just a fighter okay. Yeah, because fighters, why do you always see longbows for... Or not longbows, why do you always see rangers for... For like, bow and arrow combat in D&D &D and Pathfinder? Like, technically, fighters can use them just as well. They just get some different abilities with them. Let's have whatever that is. Tasty spider leg, I think that was. We could cross that way, but we're going to go this way first. I like to explore a lot of the side areas, but I have to admit, I also don't know which of these are the side areas. You won't survive me. That's one of the reasons he's good. He gets a lot of attacks. Uh, and, like most monks with Flurry of Blows, they can use key to get extra shots. <laughs> when do I just use the hit really hard? Uh, yeah, no, nope. I know how that works. Tell me about armor class. Uh, okay, maybe that way is the optional way. Let's go back to here. I guess maybe this way is the secret. Let's give it a try. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. Secret room? Secret room. Oh. We've got some rocky fellas. Earth elementals. I'm quite impressed that a bow and arrow did that much damage to a literal pile of rocks. The spirits demand your blood. Uh, we're gonna wait. You can't actually wait in the the turn order, although it will permanently like move their initiative back for the rest of the fight. Uh, but yes, like in the tabletop game, if you wish to to wait for a better moment, 
Like, for example, when the enemies rumble themselves straight up to us. Uh, you can indeed do that. Unfortunately, this is not the best place to shoot from. Because uh, if your friendly guys are near an enemy, or they're in melee with it, uh, I believe there's like a minus to hit unless you have the, I think it's some like point blank shot feet. So it can keep them occupied, but it can also make the shot a bit harder. And we've got a wand of light cure wounds, got a healing wand, and some gold. Uh, can you use that? Yeah, why not? So wands are a little bit like scrolls, but they have multiple uses, not just one. Oh, I think they maybe don't need use magical device checks as well that scrolls do. Look, look. Uh, I am not sure. It is not safe. Wait, I have to make a ability check to get out of here? But with no penalty, so I'm not quite sure why they worried about that one. But, oh well. Onwards, into the into the darkness, basically. Oh boy. I'm not sure <laughs> that looked right. I did mention there were some bugs, right? <laughs> Can I charge them? Oh yeah, it charges the other candidate that bugs a bit. I'm sure there's something. Either it's working as intended that I just don't fully understand the mechanic. Or there's something wrong with it. And I think there's something wrong with it. I thought I said you could attack him. Okay. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Go for their heart. <laughs> Where's the heart on a spider? Hey, no trouble. I found some more weaponry that I don't know if anyone could use. I suppose Sula could use a longsword. A greatsword, rather. You have to lose some armor. Uh, tell you what, I never properly, even on my save, looked at their feet. So what does she start with? Armor fishes out to heavy. Armor, uh, martial weapons, shield focus. Okay, so she ideally wants to have a shield. Okay. We'll give her... Do we have anything better than a longsword? Do we even have anything better than a longsword for that matter? Uh, No. In fact, it's got better crit range, so yeah. It's best if she sticks with a longsword for now. Tread lightly. Oh. Little noodle waiting for us. Listen here. You, I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you and I are the only two people to see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you, don't show the light of heaven to Sul. Okay, yeah, so she... We can ask her, but I believe... Yeah, not going to risk the future of the tribe for sake of a few super kids. Yeah, she's worried about the others in a sense. Um, and so the dangers is for the tribe. Land's the only one who benefits from each other's game of heroism. I'll go alone if I have to find them or whatever's left of them. But she's kind of being a little bit selfish, I feel. Like, she's, she's like, oh, I'll, I'll do it myself. No one else has to be put at risk. It's like, you're going to be put at risk. <laughs> like, the only friends would come with me. Perhaps we can make it to the end of the maze together and find a way out to the surface. I thought you considered the Great Warriors. Descendants of Great Warriors, I believe they are worthy of greatness and strong could do a lot of things. But the maze is more dangerous. I mean, full of traps. It's dark. Uh, there's spooky things in it. Yeah, so she's she thinks she's a bit foolhardy. We'll we'll think about it. And we might take her off on that because I didn't on again on the other save I haven't. So maybe we'll go with her. Maybe maybe it's a choice. Now I think about it. I ended up with Lan, uh, but small spoilers, I didn't get Wenduag. She's got off to do her own thing, effectively. So, maybe that's... Changes who you get. Maybe, depending on your decision. Uh, right. Ah, we're at the town. Uh, and the town is 
Got like a little underground cave fishing village. Outlander, eh? End time sure upon us indeed. See? Don't remember? Oh yeah. Yeah, not very good teeth. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I remember that. She saw, we found the angel's sword, and we found the one who can wield it. She had a vision, and now the angel's sword together with the light of heaven is somehow inside her. Gather the tribe, etc. Ah, Lan, always streaming, always talking. You're too hasty, too hasty for your own good. Ish, gonna get you in trouble. An uplander with the light of heaven, that's too good for us. Our kind don't have good things happen, there's always a catch. Lan trusts people because he likes to believe. Ish, isn't that right, Lan? This is probably sounds horrible in <laughs> this microphone. I'm the chief, I don't walk on faith, show the light. Okay. Okay. Um. What happens if I do two? Um. There's someone from the surface. I guess I have to do four. Ah, oh, Lan's gonna hate me first, isn't he? We didn't find the sword. The way line, that every reason it's line, you know it. Oh god, what do I go for here? I'll go for one, I'll say it's mistaken, it'll be like, no, it's all not working. Miracles are not meant for us, we the tribe, we wait. If you're not one of us, we will... If you're one of us, you... Oh, we will wait, we're not going anywhere. It's the lesser of two evils, and now rest we can be our best when we go to the maze. Yeah. Oh no, Lan is still with us. At least at the moment. Interesting. Okay. Oh, now. There's a bit of a... A... Uh, like a meta. I guess is the word for it. Choice here. So. We will. Shortly after we exit the cave. Be able to hire... Pathfinders, which is what uh, they call adventurers in this world. The lower level we are, the more we can hire. Because the lower level you are, the less you have to pay for them. So if we don't level up, even though we've got the experience to do so, we'll be able to hire them cheaper. So we'll be able to have more unique allies. Oh, hello, who's this? Ah, human face at last. And there I thought I'd be gazing upon the twisted visages of these troglodytes for the rest of my life. Hey, did you talk to that like that about troglodytes? Troglodytes are cute. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Horgus Gworm. Yes, that Gworm. You have no doubt heard of me if you spent any time at all in the city. I have a business proposition for you. Uh, what proposition? I don't know if anything is happening on the surface right now, but I am determined to find out. You have no intention of seeing out the rest of your days in this village, I suspect. We must find a route back to the surface, to the city, if there's anything left of it. You are a spellcaster, I presume. You are correct. A sorcerer, a wizard. I can't tell which exactly. It's neither of those. But it doesn't matter. Spells are always useful, especially in a situation like this. I do agree there. You are strong. It will be no trouble to you. But alas, I am not as fit as I once was. I can't go crawling about through caves, playing at scouts. My proposition is simple. Lead me back to the city, and I shall pay you a thousand gold coins. Camilla reckons we should help. Uh, <laughs> we could try and go for the extra money. Um, well... I managed that last time, because I kicked it by accident. We'll just take the deal. We'll be like, okay, we'll help. Uh, how did you end up here? Ah, and he looked at Camilla. Interesting. Like everyone else, down I went when that accursed beetle cleaved the ground in twain beneath our feet. Uh, understandable. I'm lucky I didn't break my neck in the fall, and I'm doubly lucky that I didn't encounter any subterranean cockroaches on my blind wanderings, and instead came across hunters for this settlement. Although I must say, when I glimpsed their physiognomies, which is, wow, that you picked a long word for that one, my life flashed before my very eyes. But they turned out to be decent chaps, frightening to look at, but able to keep a bargain. Fair enough. We gotta go. Go on, go on. Don't forget our agreement. When you find the way out, be sure to tell me. Sure thing, Gwen. He might be a bit pompous, but you know, 
A thousand gold is a thousand gold. Um, but yes, I said earlier, so if we level up now, we'll have a much easier time in the next area. I've heard you can make it through without leveling. But we won't be able to hire as many... No, I think we're going to level up. I do like some of the stock NPCs, so we'll, we'll use some of them. But we will also hire some of our own custom members. Right, we get to level up and we gain access to our hex. We also gain some skill points. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with those ones. Uh, oh, we're getting another hex. We've already got one. Uh, let's see. Ward could improve our saving throws. We'll put things to sleep. We should grow some nails. Oh my god, 1d2? I've never said a d2. I didn't realize anything in Pathfinder. Mind you, d3s aren't really a thing either. Wow, okay. Very low damage. That's barely worth it. Uh, let's see. Wait, is that disadvantage? Roll twice to take the worst. Wow, okay. I've never said disadvantage in Pathfinder. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, they basically have to roll twice when they do something and they take the worst one, which is a really big debuff. Uh, also, spells. You can take another two. Uh, second, we can make someone big. Ear piercing scream is like a fairly reasonably strong for the level, like single target spell. We'll take ear piercing scream and burning hands. Uh, because it picks a single target, like yeah, it's not as like wide ranging as an AOE, but it also means it won't you know hit friendly. So they they have these as well, and they often hit a bit harder. Level up Sila as a paladin. Uh, quite happy to take those. The game gives the NPCs like a default build that you can mess with at any time, uh, but if you do, it disables the rest of the pre-build. You're you're making it yourself at that point. I don't need to mess with that yet. I'm perfectly happy. Her build has been perfectly fine in my experience. Spirit Hunter level up. She gains... Oh, she has hexes as well. I see. So she can make herself a bit tougher. Level you up as an archer. I have a feeling we're probably going to lose you after this bit, or at the very least he's not going to like us, but you never know. So shot. Ah, yeah, so that's the one I was talking about earlier. The one that lets you shoot even when your friends are within melee and not less likely to hit. And longbow, I think. And when do I uh, will gain knowledge nature? Perception. Okay, so we've got someone with good perception. Deadly aim. Shoots a bit less accuracy, but does a bit more damage, and it increases over time. We'll have that. Sure thing. Right, let's go up to here. Uh, you might notice some of them said, like, prerequisite for mythic trait. There are some uh, mythic traits, which you gain as you do certain things in the game. We'll get to that later. Um... That are effectively like stronger versions of some feats. I think I don't know whether they're new for this game or if they've always been there, but I've just never seen anyone actually play with the mythic stuff. Uh, because this is actually something that's in, I think, D&D as well, in a sense, and also is in, obviously, I believe, Pathfinder. It's kind of normally reserved as a, like, level 20 plus thing, because normally you cap out at level 20. Uh, and at level 20 is, like, extremely strong. Like, if you're a wizard, you've got, you could have wish at that point. Which is literally like change the fabric of reality itself. That's exactly what it sounds like. Ah, there's a sales lady. Salesman? I can't tell from here. Tall woman. You there. You from the surface. You must be tough to make it all the way here. Never thought I'd see the day. Call me dry. Let's trade. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> the, she just gave us a name. People are okay. Call me all sorts. Dry the hoarder. Dry the coin. Dry the city girl. Oh, that's a bad thing. <laughs> All the caves look up things from the surface that wash down here through the sewers. Oh boy. I bet it smells good. Okay, wants gold. Uh what are you saying you can trade? Oh, they he doesn't like the locals. Okay. Oh, <laughs> they don't use gold, that's why. Alright. Uh if we do bulk selling, it will sell all the items that don't have any other use. They're just for, for selling. And we made almost nothing off of that. Is there anything we want to buy? No. Not really, I don't believe. And we couldn't afford anything worthwhile anyway. But we could sell some of our stuff. Actually, though, cold iron, we'd better keep. We don't have much cold iron stuff at the moment. We will sell some of the spare regular weapons. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's much use to anyone. We could sell... No, we'll keep that because we might have a character that could use that later. Magic items are worth a hell of a lot. Especially to buy. They're extremely expensive. Uh, but they are... Obviously quite powerful to make up for it. That's the hut we can rest in. We'll probably finish looting the village quickly. Then we'll... How we have time? We, we can move in. Move on a little bit. We'll, we'll get right to the start of the maze. I think... 
Yeah, I think the entrance is down there. Oh, I'll tell you what we will do. We will set up our spell book. Right, what spells do we want for the maze? Quite honestly, I'm thinking this. Mage arm. Oh, mind you, at this level, mage armor is... Oh, one hour, yeah. Mage armor, so we can make ourselves a bit tougher for the area. And more snowballs, because only one is not enough. Uh, is that our two hexes? Yeah, it's fortune and vulnerability. We'll have those. Actually, we'll put those both there. Uh, you have some spells, right? Yes, let's set yours up. Okay. Uh, so I might... Uh, that's probably not even worth the turn it would take to do that. So we'll take... We'll just take another enlarged person for you. For you. I apparently can't. We'll take another Cure Light Wounds for you. It's best to do this before you rest, obviously, because that means you then rest and get those uh, spells. Right, and let's rest. Time passes. Oh, hello. Oh! Oh, yes, we are leaving him behind. It's time. We're heading out now. Land won't get no way. Where is he? On the way to his death, he's decided to go out alone, or maybe he's on his own. Oh, anyway. Come on. Right, uh, I'm going to leave those two here. Yes, we are, apparently. Uh, let's get out of it then. Okay, I guess we're leaving the others behind. The real strength to you. A strong person could take the truth if they don't like it, and the truth was on my side. I want to say thank you. You saved the tribe for a stupid mistake. They're alive now because of you. Okay. Now let's go to the boats. We'll get the fastest for water. Oh, so maybe we're taking a different path. Yeah, we are. I think we went through uh, that passage over there before. Okay, this is interesting. We're going to end up somewhere else, I think. But yeah, I think at the moment we're sort of leading towards like a slightly sneakier hero. Uh, we're still going to be good. Overall, I'm pretty, I, I'm thinking, but, yeah, so it is a bit more like, we'll, we'll do the right thing, but, like, you know, we're going to do it regardless kind of thing, like, right, oh, although to be fair, it might just lead to the same place, it might just get us there quicker, Follow my steps. yes, because the rest of the tribe was here last time. Save very quickly. Right. Let's head on in. Is the maze going to be different, I wonder? Well, that'll be a question for next time. I think that's a good place to pause for the moment. So, next time we'll set off into the shield maze and see what uh, horrors, booby traps, and maybe glorious treasure, if we're lucky, lies on the other side. Uh, I think I forgot to add my normal ending bit at the end of the last episode, but... Uh, YouTube is not very kind to people that don't get engagement, uh, so if you're feeling very kind, leave likes, comments, uh, subscribe if you like, ring the bell, all that good stuff, I greatly appreciate it, I do definitely at the moment 100% read all the comments, uh, I like getting feedback from you guys, it's, it's interesting to have, uh, and yeah, I will see you all next time.